Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, before we uh, start the video, please give this video a thumbs up, a like, and uh, yeah, leave a comment about anything you want. Anyway, I did this um, painting of Mickey Mouse. It's a pretty much a Mickey Mouse stoned, but 2.0. It was for um, a person that loved that that painting, and he wanted me to incorporate his own tattoos that he has on his body onto the Mickey. So he's got that lion and this, um, I think it's a hourglass or something. And then just did that. But yeah, it's a huge canvas, so it was fun to work with. And once again, the background was really fun because I could be as messy as I want. And yeah, thank you to all the patrons. Um, I appreciate the support and it means a lot to me. And I hope you enjoy the video. And now over to Luke, three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome back to yet another fucking episode on this channel. Jesus Christ, we just don't stop shitting out content after content after content after content after content. It's been amazing. Oh, wait, one, one fucking second. Jay, eat your fucking cereal with a spoon, not a fork. It doesn't make sense. The milk pours right out. With the spoon, it all stays in there. That's why spoons were invented. Fuck me. Sorry guys, it just it, 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 it's just hard to watch my brother eat cereal with a fucking fork. It just doesn't make sense. Alright, anyway guys, let me dive into this topic. Now I'm in kind of a bad mood, but I'll just, I'll just deal with it. And because I'm doing it for you guys, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it. I'm the real hero here. Alright. This episode is under the subreddit of Am I the Asshole? One of my favorites. I love this subreddit. Okay, so let's get into the title. Am I the arsehole for keeping my son away from the delivery room? Now, I imagine she's talking about the, um, the delivery room where you give birth. I don't know what other delivery room she could be talking about. So, yeah, let's read the story. My son, who's 33, and his wife, who's 34, have been having a lot of trouble in their marriage since she got pregnant with twins. <laughs> I'm a twin. <laughs> My son confessed that he was finding it harder and harder to be around her, and things got much worse for him when the babies would kick. He's very much an adherent of healthy living, so it was hard for him even when they had the whole family over. She would leave the table and devour leftover takeout food in the kitchen. And when he'd buy healthy food and offer her a gym membership, she would just yell at him. What made it worse was the fact that his sister, who gave birth in late December, was comfortable in her pre-baby clothes by mid-January, and it made him feel like his wife was specifically not trying for him. My son never cheated, yet his wife would pick fights about him texting other women who were his colleagues. And a week ago, they had the biggest fight in their marriage, in which he admitted that the baby's kicking turned him off. She went ballistic and told him to leave her sight. Two days later, we get a call from her mum that she was giving birth. My son was contemplating whether he should be in the delivery room, but I as a woman know that men get traumatised when seeing the baby come out. In addition, I was terrified that he would get infected with some disease while in hospital, which would not be good for any of the family. I'm just going to cut the story. This mum sounds like a fucking crazy bitch and she babies her son too much and the son can do no fucking wrong and the son's probably a mama's boy fucking hell look at the shit she's feeding her son you can get a disease from being in the delivery room what you probably got a fucking disease from being in the delivery room just cause you got one doesn't mean everyone else is getting one and it'll traumatize the son please grow up it's called human nature fucking hell you know the pussy's gonna be stretched the size of a fucking watermelon. Grow up. Surely you gotta be a bit more mature than that. Sure, you can fit two fists inside the vagina. That may be traumatizing, but put that aside. Your wife is currently traumatized with what she's squeezing out there. So, you know what? Just don't make it all about you. Anyway, I'm gonna continue with the story. So I told him to stay away and to make it up to her when she's out of the hospital. We ended up getting a bunch of texts from my son's mother-in-law, but nothing from his wife. 
We assumed that knowing my daughter-in-law, she probably would have screamed at my son to get out of the site if he had entered the room, which would have caused him to be exposed to illness and not get to see the baby born anyway. What fucking illness are you talking about, you psycho cunt? This isn't the fucking medieval days. I'm, it, there was no illness in the medieval days either from being in the room of someone giving birth. So what the fuck are you talking about? Now my daughter-in-law refuses to let my son and his family see his beautiful twin daughters and have named them something that my son didn't agree to. Well that is pretty spiteful. Despite the fact that many women have been giving birth alone and my son had promised to make it up to her. Her friends are also sending him nasty messages. So... Am I the asshole for preventing what would have been permanent mental scarring for my son? Scarring that would have further hurt their marriage? I really feel like I was trying to save my daughter-in-law from being viewed in an irreparably different way by my son. Holy fuck. How was his son raised? Like, do you still- are you still with him when he goes to the toilet? Like, do you hold his little doodle up for him so he can pee? Because that's the type of mother you seem like. And he's just as stupid for listening to you. That is not advice, that's just, that's just shit. Do you still wipe his bum bum after he goes poopy? Hmm? Do you still breastfeed him? Make sure he gets all that nutrients in him from the, your nipple? You, you make him suck on your nipple? Yeah? Yeah? Fucking hell. How would you tell your son not to be there in the delivery room while his wife is giving birth? Are you fucking retarded? When I first read the title, I thought you were talking about you didn't want him in the delivery room while you're giving birth, which is understandable and I was straight up off the bat agreeing with you because I don't want to see my mum give fucking birth. That would be traumatizing. But damn, his wife needs all the love and support at that moment. Maybe someone to shout out because, you know, that's what uh, girls do when they give birth. They scream at people. At least that's what I've seen in movies. I don't know. I've never given birth myself or seen anyone. So... Yeah, the, the least thing he could have done was be there just for support. And you told him not to be there because it might change his opinion on his wife. Fuck, and he's even a bigger idiot for listening to you. At some point, every boy has to uh, grow up and, you know, uh, stop listening to their mum because they're an adult and they shouldn't be listening to the mum. I mean, they can take your mum's advice, but I just can't believe you typed all that out and, like, still had to say to yourself... Jeez, was I the asshole? Like, did I do something wrong? Like, you know, like, could I have done something different? Was it me? It was me, wasn't it? No, it couldn't be me. Was it me? Holy fuck. You sound like your name is Suzanne. I don't know why. You sound like your name is Suzanne. I don't think that's uh, something you can just make up like, yeah, sorry, babe, I missed the wife of our children. But, you know, I'll make it up to you. I'll, like, I'll make you a coffee tomorrow morning and that's that. You know, we can always have another kid and I'll just watch their birth. Fuck. Yeah, so, uh, look, I don't, I don't really like, uh, the look of how children are born. So, babe, do you mind if I just sit this one out and, you know, I'm just gonna go to the pub for a few hours. But text me when it's done and, you know, I'll be, I'll be right back. I'll be there to see the children. Yeah, do you mind? So, you don't mind if I just, like, abandon you for a few hours? Just, you know, cause it's, it's not you, it's me. No, no, no. It is you. I just don't. I don't like the sight of that stretched out pussy with, with a fucking python going through it. So you mind if I sit this one out? It's cool. Cool. Wait. Oh, you're not mad, are you? Are you mad, babe? Don't be mad. Don't be mad. No, mum. My mum said, you know, it might fuck up our marriage in the future. So, and mummy does everything for me. Mummy's always right. So I'm just. I'm just gonna listen to her this time, okay? So yeah, this is another case of uh, a monster-in-law. These mother-in-laws just love ruining their fucking children's marriages. They always just value their opinion over everyone else's and they just need to have that controlling aspect um, over their children. That's, that's just weird. It's really weird. I think you and your son are both fucking assholes. You need to grow up. Take a hard look at yourself. Maybe go on a hike for a month. Do what Jesus did and fast in the desert for a month and wake up to yourself and you know, just detox your body of all that fucking stupidness. It's, it's worrying actually. See a psychiatrist too. Okay. Anyway guys, that was, uh, that was amazing what we just read. Um, I feel like everyone in the room got dumber listening to that. 
So I'm gonna have to have no choice but to end it there. Just for all of our own insanity. So anyway guys, it's been pleasurable. More pleasurable than an orgasm. Alright. On that note, this is where it ends. So I'll see you guys surely tomorrow or the next day. Um, that's a guarantee. That's a fact. Alright guys. Bye-bye. Take care. I'll see you in a little while. Bye.